Okay, today, I'm on, first of all, let me just say you're going to have to deal with my laryngitis because my voice is shot. But we're going to be looking at five juicy emerald cuts today. And we really did a good job of locating some honeys with great optics. Um, this first one is a diamond right around the 320 range in a JVVS. Okay, super clean interior. It's a nice square. It's a 118 to 1 ratio. Beautiful super eye clean stone and it faces up a beautiful white J color. We've ran an A set and Diamond X ray on this and it it's looking really good there, but most of all to the human eye as well. Okay. Now, I want to put this next to another square we got in. And this is a honking. This is a four and a third carat. It's a KVS. All right. <laughs> and you can see the sizable difference. Now, I'm going to tell you, with the A sets and the Diamex rays, we're going to go by the window too. Um, the step patterning in the 319, uh, I kind of like a little bit more. But you can't ignore the size difference of this four and third carat. Now I'm going to tell you, Mrs. K, who I'm shooting this for, this four and a third does take you slightly over the zone we were talking about. But if you're going to go a little bit over, <laughs> that's a stone maybe worth doing it in. All right. So we're looking at that here as it is. We're going to go by the window also with these. Now, while I have these in my hand. I want to show you also alongside of a longer length to width ratio. By the way, that four and a third is around the same length to width ratio as the 319. So right around 117, 118 to 1 ratios. So the shapes are very similar. Okay. Here is this is a diamond uh, similar in weight. These two are similar in weight now. This diamond also has phenomenal optics, this one on my right. But this is a 148 to 1 ratio. And there's also uh, right around the 3, uh, somewhere between 313 to 315 in the weight. And is a JVS1. Okay. And that's a 148 to 1 ratio, which is a ratio that's very desirable in emerald cuts generally. Although you have expressed your preference for the more square. But you can see how the longer length to width ratio takes up more finger coverage. Alright. This diamond keeps you safely under um, the range that you told me. Okay. It's under 30k. And beautiful optics on it too. The A set's nice. The visuals, look at that thing. It lights up beautiful. All right. Now, two of the emerald cuts that came in for this for your call happen to be in rings. One square and one rectangular. First, we'll look at the square. So here again is that uh, this emerald cut here is that first one, that JVVS. It's right around, um, it's in the high teens, 318, 319 in weight, something like that. This one is a three and a half carat. Came in in a ring. Okay, the steps are chunkier on this emerald cut. And this three and a half carat comes in in the uh, between 31 and 32. So it's safely in budget and is a KVS1. So this emerald cut here, this may be probably the best candidate on the lower end of the price range and in size and in the shape that you're asking for. Okay, that's if we stick with squares. Here's that four and a third carat. Yeah, let me do that. Let me send you the email. Give you time to look into it, okay? All right, we're gonna we're gonna break it down. I think it's gonna be uh, come, probably come down to these two for you, perhaps. All right. So three and a half, four and a third. 
By the way, this three and a half carat comes in at a nice square 123 to one ratio. So these are pretty darn close in the ratios. All right. Now, here's another one that came in in a ring. This diamond comes in less than 25 grand. <laughs> Your husband will love this one. The optics on it are also really nice. Nice step patterning. This is a long emerald cut. It's another, it's a 145 to one. But it's not what's considered too long either. Okay. So three and a half. This one's also in the three, uh, three teens, around 314, 315 size range. And a KVS2. Right. Now we're going to bring these by the window and show you how they look in natural lighting. All right, here we are by the window now, and we're going to look at the squares first. Okay, and here again, this is that three and a fifth carat JVBS. All right, this is the one that had the 118 to 1 ratio. This stone, I got to tell you, of the, between this and the four and a third carat, well, here's my bottom line thoughts come, that Mrs. K. I like the optics on this one the best, so far between these two squares. Not that this big one has bad optics, but this one has better optics, okay? So those are my thoughts on these two, and you can see why I say that. This one does have chunkier facets, but... As far as light return goes, I think the I think the video kind of speaks for itself. Okay, and you can see that. You can see that. Now, I have to apologize for my voice too. I got this cold. Here is the three and a half carita. All right. Now, believe it or not, this diamond here is actually more valuable than this one. Okay, remember the four and a third carat that I just took out of there? It takes you a little over budget. Between these two here, the three and a half carat are on my left. It came in uh, between, I believe that one was between 31 and 32K. This one on my right comes in between 34 and 35K. Still keeps you under your 35 zone, though. Okay. So, it all depends on what you want to go after. Size or optics. And there's the four character again. All right. So there's those. Now I'm going to bring the um, the emerald cuts that I acquired that had the longer link to width ratios. Okay, now these. Now here's the square one with the great optics. Okay, the three and a fifth carat JVVS. Next to this one's around that uh, a three, uh, right in the mid mid teens. This is the one that came in under 25 grand. Okay. So there is roughly a $10,000 difference between these two diamonds. Okay, JVVS and KVS2. Both of these have great optics. All right. Both beautiful diamonds. All right. Now, while I have this rectangular one up, I'm going to bring the other rectangular one in. Whoops, I'm going to bring that in focus again. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, both of these, now this one here, this is under 30 grand. This is um, another uh, JVS1 and KVS2. There's roughly a $5,000 difference between these two. But these are the two rectangular shaped ones. Both of these have really nice optics and step patterning. Okay. This one here comes in somewhere in, uh, between 29 and 30. 
This one here, under 25. J and K. And these are diamonds, these emerald cuts that I called in had the best overall um, dimensions on paper we could find. Obviously, as you can see, there are some that are better than others. Squares are harder, but uh, we got some great options here. So I'm going to show this back to you, send it to your private video, and then you'll let me know what you like best of what we're looking at.